Today's video is brought to you in part by ExpressVPN. More on them and how you can get three months free later in today's video or at expressvpn.com slash espresso. Season four got the nod officially and it's green light to go ahead, meaning the next few days may in fact be filled with a bunch of coming content for season four and what we learn about. But today we got a really cool trailer that brings you up to speed, but also a glimpse at some stuff and some key pieces that is still to come. So today I wanna break down everything here for you so that if you may have missed out on it, you know exactly what to look for. But that said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below if you're looking forward to season four. If there's anything in particular you're genuinely stoked to see, whatever it is, feel free to let me know. But as well, rounding into season four, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already to stay up to date with all things and all the coming content regarding Modern Warfare and Warzone and season four and beyond on a daily basis. That said, let's get into it. So truth be told, I was actually pretty surprised to see that we got a trailer this early on. Normally, we, with one week out, start to see some teases, maybe some stuff on the smaller scale on Twitter or or something that is just kind of a breadcrumb trail leading up to the big reveal and everything that's to follow. But now just about that week out mark from season four, we got a little bit more, which I'm certainly not complaining about, but it also isn't something that ends up giving away everything as a normal trailer would. We don't see much of any skins to come. We don't see much of any minor details you can pick out of each frame. Instead, this is more so our initial teaser, but in a sort of recap format. I'd still expect a normal trailer, and if I were to make my educated guess based on past knowledge and past patterns, I'd assume that Monday, right before the season drops, we'll end up seeing that full-on trailer in reference to everything in season four, but it is possible it could come sooner. Today's trailer though was just entitled The Story So Far, which other than being a pop punk band from California, I'm sorry, I need my proper dose of puns these days. I can't help myself. Some things I can't change. So other than that, the trailer told the story of where we are now and how we got here in the Modern Warfare universe, setting the stage for what's to come. So if you haven't seen it just yet, check it out. We've got a situation. Chemical weapons are now in the wild. I'm eyes on. Mr. Z still remains at large. His weapons are locked and loaded in terrorist hands all over Verdansk. Together, as Armistice, this is our first direct action against Z's army. Let's move. Price, something's wrong in Verdansk. They're targeting their own. The client's plan is working. It's bloody chaos. What do you suggest? business trip as your team some old comrades i got a fighting inbound hold to your position they better be good they are bravo six going dark So I'm not going to lie, for 99% of that trailer being stuff that we've seen cut and spliced from other trailers and other reveals throughout the year so far within Modern Warfare, the way that's edited together with the score in the background, building it up, that was a really badass trailer, I think. But again, as mentioned, not a whole lot is new here with what this trailer is. We see a handful of different items that we can pull from, but at the same time, that all comes towards the very end. The only other stuff that is actually new within the middle portions of this video is just a few short voiceover lines from Captain Price and a couple of images of Mr. Z or Zakayev as well as Khaled Al-Assad. The key important things came at the very tail end of the trailer with the majority of stuff leading up to that point just being recap. That was all telling you the story of where we are, which we'll talk about for those that may not be following narratively. We'll talk about that in a second, but the big stuff that I'm sure you're interested in is that of the new content coming with season four, to which we can see new operators, new weapons, and even a new map. So for the operators, we see Price and Gaz, we see weapons of the Galil or AK-12 and the Vector, and we see a map of Scrapyard throughout this trailer. And of course, like we said, this all comes at the very end, right whenever we see that almost infill sequence for Warzone, but it's Captain Price with Gaz at his side. We see the Call of Duty Endowment Fearless Pack, Milsim Operator to the left, and then a new Iskra skin to the right. But of course, our two main focal points being those two centerpieces of Price and Gaz from the campaign. So Price, though he's been in the narrative the entire time leading up to this point, he's now finally making his way over into the playable front and the playable aspect for all of us to be able to use. And if you look closely, you can actually see two weapons that we haven't seen just yet, and like we just mentioned, that potentially being the Galil or the AK-12, as well as then the Vector. 
Now, I mentioned that it could be one or the other here because I'll be the first to tell you, I'm no gun expert. I love to read into this stuff and research and learn more about all of it, but in no capacity do I present myself as an expert on these sort of things. But when comparing the two, both the Galil and the AK-12, from the stance that we see Captain Price holding this weapon at, the only thing that really stands out to me as a glaring giveaway of one or the other is the bulk of the iron sights. In that frame, the iron sights look a little bit smaller compared to that of the Galil Ace, which I would imagine that if it is the Galil, it would be that version, especially given the fact that there in the game files was a designated 762 by 39 millimeter round magazine associated with the name of Galil. But at the same time, those same iron sights match a little bit more up with the slightly smaller AK-12 iron sights based Based off that same frame. So I think to know definitively, we'd need to see it at a further back perspective, or of course, just let time tell, because in a couple of days, we will know for certain. But that's something to keep an eye out for. It looks like the Vector will be making a return as well in the hands of Gaz in this frame. And similarly, we talked about the APC-9 versus the Vector in the game files earlier. I think this one, though, is definitively the Vector, not only just based off of looks, but also because of the fact that we talked of the APC-9 being relatively stagnant in terms of its development over the past five months. Months. We didn't really see any progression made to it, though the vector had been getting steadily updated in the backend files over the last couple of updates. And finally, the last thing comes to the very end tail frame where you see Captain Price, the date of June 3rd for season four, and of course the text of season four also. In that though, just like how we saw seasons one through three showcasing the premiere or flagship map in that text, if you look closely, that is Scrapyard. Scrapyard's gonna be making a return here, it looks like, the classic from Modern Warfare 2, and I'm excited for that. Though it actually does make a lot of sense, since it's primarily already in Warzone, it's something that, from a 6v6 perspective, will likely play just fine. And again, in terms of asset-wise, it's basically already built out. So that should come as relatively no surprise that it is coming. Whether or not we see more maps here in the vein of classic maps returning, we'll have to wait and see. That just is not clear to us yet. But we do still have that rumor that Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer will have a ton of, if not all of the maps, ported over into Modern Warfare 2019. We haven't seen that start just yet, so maybe Scrapyard is that first indicator of what's to come. But anyways, that's what we learned here out of this trailer. Again, minus the fact of just catching up on the storyline, which if you haven't paid attention to the narrative in the background, that may be new to you. Campaign was something that set up the narrative. It introduced us to her characters, Captain Price, Alex, Farah, Hadir, who there may be some interesting plot twists on that, but that's all theory and speculation at the moment. But we saw them topple General Barkov and then the shift of power going from Barkov to then Zakayev, who was going for the throne. And of course, that being a throwback to the classic Zakayev, he's working with Alcatala. They end up transferring that storyline over to Spec Ops to where we see some intel and the storyline progress a little bit further to where then it picks up in Warzone and we see the world being kind of open to explore for everything going forward. And this trailer was just trying to sum all of that up. But before I continue, I'd like to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor as today's video was brought to you in part by ExpressVPN. Chances are you use the internet for some important things, a lot of which could be your data that's important to you. And whether it be public wide Wi-Fi, your ISP, there's always the possibility of your data being logged or compromised. But the beauty of ExpressVPN is the privacy that it affords you. With the highest encryption standard and IP masking, you're in the clear and fully protected. I've been using ExpressVPN for a while, and what I absolutely love is the ease of use and speeds in which I can protect my data. I mean, look at this. One click and boom, protected. And if you're not on desktop, don't worry. There's an app for almost every device that you could need protecting you even on the go. Especially now, even outside of just protecting your data, it's a great time to try a VPN because maybe you're looking for new shows to binge in your downtime. ExpressVPN can also unlock content in other regions of the world. Number one on my list is to watch The Last Dance all in one go since I don't have cable, so I can't get that on Netflix here in the States, so time to pop up to Canada for that one. So if you're ready to get protected, expand your content options, and do that all with the help of the best VPN on the market for just $6.67 a month, head over to expressvpn.com slash espresso where you can learn how to get a free three months with a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not fully satisfied. Check the link in the top of the description below to learn more. And again, thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. But anyways, that's what we learned about season four out of this trailer here today. Also, what we learned as of yesterday, which I didn't get to mention in yesterday's video, but want to talk about here because it is leading up to it and will be in conjunction with likely other season four promo materials, is that of a triple double event here going on this weekend or a triple threat, however you want to talk about.
about it. That being where you can get double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass tier progression starting this Friday, May 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, going until June 1st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time as well. So you get the whole weekend to grind out anything you may need to in terms of finishing up Season 3 here, and hopefully you can. That is something that we kind of thought would be coming, but we didn't have any official confirmation until as of yesterday. But wanted to round out the video here at that talking point and let you know so you're all in the loop. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to these new weapons? Are you looking forward to Captain Price? And of course, are you looking forward to Season 4 in general? Love to get your thoughts and feedback, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare, updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with outside of YouTube. Practice on both those. So you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.